Um, he's going to be looking to really kick the shit out of this guy. And then we got uh, the, the other gentleman, um, Mr. Philip Adams. We don't know too much about him. You know, um, what, what, what you have is pretty much all we have. Yeah, absolutely. Both these guys coming in here with an 0-1 record, I can guarantee you they're going to be hungry. I know when I started out and I had my first, I had my first fight coming off of a loss. You are hungry. You are ready to eat. Oh yeah, you are. All right, man. Well, you know, with with Ashton Kutz's, uh last fight with um, at the Redemption, you know, I'm I'm hoping that we see a little bit more of a of a well-rounded fighter, you know, somebody that comes in and understands that it could be over very, very quickly if you're not careful. Oh, ab absolutely. Both these guys lost in the first round last time. Yep, and I mean bad in the first round. You know, so this, that... Yeah, so, you know, um, that, that's the main thing, you know, what I'm, what I'm looking at is, is uh, what we want to do is we want to see improvement with these, with these amateur fighters, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. Philip Adams is coming in here, taking over, taking the spot of Mr. Quentin McKinney, who is just, no, excuse me, of, of Kyle Say. Yeah. See? Say, see, Say. see, see. Yep. Absolutely, he's coming in here on a very short notice. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see what he's got too. Um, and his opponent, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, guys, we have to do a little bit of changing around. Ashton Kutz is 1-1, one one, fighting out of Kannapolis, North Carolina. Yep. That record is incorrect that we have as an 0-1 fighter. Yep. We saw him fight on the outer banks. He TP'd a guy in the chest within five seconds and then start the choke. It was a very nice display. Very nice. All right. Now we have Philip Adams coming to the cage. And he's with uh, Mr. Rogers Hill, which is an absolute great uh, small circle jiu-jitsu practitioner. Yeah, the leopard kind of show him exactly what to do on the ground. That's oh, the yeah, he will. Only guy I know who can sub Brian, Brian Miller. So I would say Mr. Th uh, Mr. Phillips, uh, Philip Adams would probably want to take this to the ground and uh, control a little bit on either from the bottom or the top. Yeah, I judge, judging just by who I see in this corner, that's what I would say too. But uh, you never know. Very uh, yeah. long, very, very long. He could be a good striker. Both these guys are coming in here kind of tall for the 135 weight class. I know, man. Ashton Kirk, the Cali kid, at 5'7". Philip Adams at 5'9". Wow. Big tall kids for 35. Absolutely, absolutely cool. Mr. Al Harris, Brian Simmons, I am so glad to be sitting right beside you right now here. Oh, man. Man. Yes, man. It's Shake awesome. my hand, sir. Yeah, oh, it's awesome, brother. Give me a hug, <laughs> too. <laughs> you know? Yeah, man. I'm glad to be sitting time. here right beside you. This is a good, uh, this is a good gig. It's a really good gig. We're having a good time here. Got Mr. Don Joseph as a rep. Um, and the, which one is that? Is that the, uh, the lovely Lauren? That is Courtney. That is Courtney. Oh, wow. And the yes. lovely Courtney. She Absolutely. is fantastic. Good gravy. And you know he's hungry. Absolutely. Uh oh, we got a redhead in this corner. California, Ashton, the I'd say this is going to be a good fight. We're, we're starting off very nice. Got a 10 man over here. All he is looking for is a heart. Oh, yeah, sir. Let's see if you can find his heart here in the cage. Yep. All right, we're about ready to start the first We're all ready to square off. Cage door shut. Both men looking game, shaking it out, ready to go, bouncing. 
And here we go. Got a little fakes. Looks like they want to both stand it up. Throwing little kicks back and forth. Ashton catches a kick. Oh, Open on a bear hug. Mm -hmm. Shuffle around a little bit. Head nice. and throw. Very nice. Got Ashton underneath. Phillips working on top, trying to work from the half guard. Yep. Oh, we got a little bit of left hand contact going on, a little ground and pound. A little crucifix action. Yeah. Oh, good, good job. He's controlling him pretty well. Nice ground and pound. Yes, very nice. Getting just, getting pretty smattered here. He's going to have to definitely improve his position. Yep, being jammed against the cage right there is definitely not helping you out, especially when you can't warm your way out of the situation. Yeah. You got to keep improving, looking to advance. We'll see if he's going to pass this one. Phillips got nice side control, working with the head and arm. Sure trying does. to work for a little paintbrush submission on top. Well, at least we know that this fight's going to go a lot longer than the last one that Mr. Koontz took. Phillips awesome. is working that ground and pound. Yes, he sure is. Still got him up against the side of the cage. Really controlling position. Still just working that head with that left hand. He's just jackhammering that left. Wow. You can really see the head bobbing back and forth. He's, he's, he's definitely putting a little band. He's got him locked up, face. letting those fists hang. He's getting just on the bat. He's getting bashed in. He's, he's doing pretty good with Ashton's the defense. Ashton's getting a lot of punches on the yeah. ground. Just trying to block him, not really in advancing his position. Yeah. I think Ashton's doing a really good job of controlling that top arm and keeping him in one position, though. Yes, he is. He's going to probably peel back a couple arms and try to get a better position. Ashton's got to start working for some other hooks to start trying to control those arms so he can get out from position. Certainly here he's getting beaten on. Yes. Well, Mr. Adams is definitely, definitely winning this round. So far, absolutely. I'm very one-sided this round. He's doing a good job of controlling him and staying on top and just making him eat punches. Hard to defend in this position. Yes, especially when he's just... Well, he's going to have to work. There we go. giving him warning, yep. saying he's got to he, work he, the position. He's trying, he's trying very hard, but I think he's just going to kind of turtle. Oh, there's the end and of the fight. There it is. Stopped by TKO. Mr. Ashton Coots could not defend himself, and it was a good stoppage. Oh, I definitely, definitely. No need to let somebody get their head beat on if they can't defend themselves. That's no, true. We're going to go to the referees for the official decision. We have a very, very colorful Mr. Roger Carroll in the cage right now with a, a great leprechaun hat. Man. Gotta love that. And the lovely ladies are in the cage giving the award. You know, I really have to say that we have the best seats in the house. Oh, man, by far the best seats in the house. Especially right now. About now. Right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right now. Oh, yeah. Well, it was a great fight by, uh, for, for the uh, Team Superior. We've got to hand it off to, uh, to, uh, professor, to the professor over there. He's doing a good job. You can see him wearing his black belt right now. But yeah, man, that's pretty kick-ass. That's pretty kick-ass. All right, so next up for bid, we have a John Henning versus a Rodney Jordan. Listen to the decision. Your winner by technical knockout. And Philip Adams definitely wins via TKO in the first round. He was some yes, nasty sir. ground and pound, really locked that arm up so he couldn't, so Mr. Koontz could not defend himself. And after he could not improve his position for about two minutes, Mr. Donnie Jessup stopped the fight. Good stoppage in amateur MMA. Oh man, most definitely, most definitely.